Good morning, everyone. Uh, this will be the last uh, video, I guess, I do for this class because we're getting ready to go to the end. Um, this is a little prep for the final. The final will open up Thursday and uh, will close Sunday night. So that'll give some of you an opportunity to have multiple days uh, based on your work schedules and other things. So uh, be from Thursday morning to Sunday night. Uh, you should have, you should have your textbook with you. There are five questions on this exam. They're all essay questions or uh, I don't think I would say short answers, short essay questions. Um, the chapters uh, that are covered is chapter two, which is the rise of the American film 1914 to 1919. Um, there were a lot of difficulties that American filmmakers had to overcome at the beginning, the birth of film. And I'm going to ask you to talk about that. So as you're reading through, be watching for those difficulties. Um, the second chapter would be chapter five, I believe. It's Hollywood in the 20s. Um, it begins on page 97. Specifically, this chapter talks a lot about genres. This is where we begin to have westerns and action-adventure, uh, war dramas, things of that nature. And so the second essay question will be over genres. I'm going to flip to the back of the book. Um, chapter 13, Hollywood in Transition, 1952 uh, to 1962. This is going to talk about uh, the reality that after World War II, um, actually both of the last two questions kind of deal with um, the fact that after World War II, we had a decline in folks uh, going to the cinema. There's a number of reasons for that that are cataloged here. Um, part of it has to do with the Supreme Court decision that really loosened social controls. Um, People got this thing called television. Um, other factors that went into um, the reason for that decline. Some uh, some of the other uh, players in the world got more active in film. And so um, that's this chapter. We're going to talk about which of those you think are really uh, most important. Um, and... Um, then the last chapter I will cover is at the end of the book on page 379 and it is American Reevaluation and Reemergence. The mid 60s and 1970s we some some films were created that really caused America to vault back into prominence. Uh, starting with My Fair Lady in 1964, The Sound of Music, 1965, 1967, Bonnie and Clyde and the Dirty Dozen, um, The Godfather, 1972, American Graffiti, 1973. These are sort of landmark films that were produced during this piece. And so I'm going to ask you off this list, at the end of that chapter, which of those do you think was really most influential? Might have to do a little research on that ahead of time, so make sure you read chapter 17 closely. Pay attention to that list on the end, see which ones you have seen. Finally, the final question will just be over the films that we have watched uh, this semester. So the only need to study for this exam would be... Um, so you've read those four chapters. That would be the way to study. Um, you need to be somewhere where you can um, be, where you can have really good Wi-Fi because this is a proctored exam through Proctorio. Um, so you need to get yourself to a place of good internet to take this. Again, it'll open up Thursday morning and it'll go through Sunday night. So uh, I've enjoyed teaching the class. I've enjoyed having you and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.